Tēnā koutou katoa, no inga rangi uku tipuna. I tipu aku o te i te rohe o kirikiri roa. Nō no reira, ka mihi atu ahau ki te awa o wakato. Ko Pauline Woodhall Rao, ko Jim Chidlow uku matua. Ko Rachel Chidlow toku ingoa. Nō no reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Hi everyone and welcome. This presentation will give a short overview of the recent project to upgrade our institutional repository DSpace and our research management system Symplectic Elements. I'll explain how we achieved our project milestones by working better together. I'll also look at what we learned from taking on such a big and ambitious project and what we're planning on doing next. What did we do? Well, this diagram summarises our entire project. We migrated DSpace and Elements from locally hosted to cloud hosted servers, upgrading both applications at the same time, and we also migrated RT1 to RT2. We started planning for this project in early 2019 and we completed the project in December 2020. We had a core project team that involved staff from several university teams, all supporting the project. Libraries and Learning Services contributed a number of staff to the project team. Staff with technical knowledge of the applications, staff that provided comms assistance, and the IT product owner for Libraries and Learning Services, who manages our entire IT portfolio. From Central University IT, we had a lead developer who worked closely with the vendor Digital Science, implementing the technical changes and managing the upgrades. We were allocated an IT project manager who has been key to keeping the project flowing. The IT project manager was also able to second in-house IT expertise as needed at various points during the project, e.g. the security team to review the configuration prior to go live. We also had a project steering committee that oversaw the work the project team did and approved changes and recommendations as required. The steering committee was small and included key staff from across the university research ecosystem to ensure the project was aligned with the entire university IT portfolio. So how did we do this? Because of COVID, we worked remotely for most of the project. We used collaboration tools to keep momentum up, manage weekly meetings and record decisions and actions. Microsoft Teams has been our core tool and it has worked very well. Project management tool used by Digital Science is Basecamp and that was used to track key deliverables during the project and to liaise directly as questions arose. Our IT project manager developed a good working relationship with Digital Science. The staff we worked with there were based in the UK, so we were dealing with a 13 hour time difference. We had to be very nimble with the project timings, so we worked in with key academic dates and academic processes across the university where usage of elements is required. We modified our timeline accordingly. So what did we learn during this project? Mahi tahi, teamwork, collaboration, working together. This has been the key to the success. In the process of completing the project, we'd created some excellent working relationships with key staff from across the university. These kinds of projects always hit snags. Even without COVID, this project has taken much longer than anticipated because of all sorts of issues that upon further investigation were a lot more technical and a lot more complex than we understood. But that's kind of always the way. However, by taking some extra time, we have resolved some long-standing issues with our implementation and customizations of elements. You can never over-communicate change. Have a well-developed comms plan with clear messages and someone with designated responsibility to execute the plan. Most importantly of all, celebration and acknowledgement, cake optional. In 2021, we will be exploring new functionality available in newer versions of both DSpace and Elements. We will also be developing a shared business ownership model for elements with other key service divisions within the university research ecosystem. So I hope that gives you an idea of what we're up to here at the University of Auckland. I look forward to any questions you may have during the Thursday afternoon session or feel free to email me or contact me via Twitter. Kia ora.